Oh, he is kind of tall. All right, this is so exciting. Um, so basically, Osama bin Laden is dead. Yes, no, this joke is not old. Um, he's dead, which is great. You know, hooray for us, hooray for peace, and hooray for me, because now it's actually exciting. Hopefully TSA will finally lay off my sippy cup. And it's very annoying. And, you know, it's just chocolate milk. You know. And uh, it's very annoying that they do that. Uh, basically, let's get this out here. Uh, yes, my name is, is Rafe. It's not very hard to remember. It's just like Rafe with an F. So I just want to say that. That's going to help a lot of people. But what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of responsibility comes with having a name that sounds like a Class A felony. You know, I do have to tell people to be careful when they're around me. Don't say my name too loudly. That could look bad. Um, you know, we don't want a lot of unwanted attention, and it could potentially get me in trouble. So with a name like Rafe, there are things that I just... I just can't do it. And one of them certainly is tickling girls. Oh, right on the knee. <laughs> yeah. As you can imagine, that doesn't really look too good for me. Um, another thing you would think is a problem is you know, having sex with girls. Could you imagine a girl screaming right at the top of her lungs? Uh, you walk in the room to check out what's going on, and you see me, pants down, having sex with this girl. I mean, that looks... That looks absolutely awful, but I find that mostly <laughs> girls realize this, so they don't say my name. In fact, they don't really say anything, which is pretty good. And if they do say something, they usually, uh, usually say somebody else's name, which is good because, one, they're covering for me, but it's also like a fun, you know, role-playing thing, so they're going to be like, oh, Steve, where are you? I mean, I don't even know what movie that's from, but hey, it's fun for me. Another thing, I'm 50% deaf, so if you guys don't know that, I'm completely deaf right here. So I can't really hear you guys if you're laughing or not, fuck you anyway. <laughs> um, but people ask me, they say, hey, do you know American Sign Language? Do you want to know American Sign Language? I say, no, I, I don't really know American Sign Language, there's no need for it. But if I were to know Sign Language, I'd probably want to know, you know, Ebonic Sign Language. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, pick that, that just means, excuse me, I uh, picked that up in Gary, Indiana. <laughs> I just joined a new fraternity this year. Yeah, I mean, you guys, AE Pi, the Jewish fraternity. Woo! I know what you guys are thinking. They're going to have an accounting fraternity on campus. <laughs> but this one's different. Our comic parties are way better, seriously. <laughs> but actually, you know, it's new. See, the guys got kicked off a few years ago for hazing. Can you, can you believe this? A Jewish fraternity kicked off for hazing. Their mothers were so furious at them. <laughs> Um, the kind of shit they were doing, it was really bad. Uh, you know, playing dreidel with their balls, shoving boxes down their throats. It circumcised them again, it was awful. <laughs> but it makes me wonder if the uh, Jewish minority fraternity could do this. What do you think other minority fraternities are doing? Like, uh, you know, Tritow, the Asian fraternity. What do you think their pledge process is like? It's probably something like this. Okay, you little wonton. You want to join Tritow? You'd be like founding father Mao Zedong, Yao Ming, General Sao. You must do the following to join Tritel. Fail your first test. <laughs> okay. And then after that, join your next violin recital, play the warm note. <laughs> Uh, so that must be awful for them. I really do feel for those guys. Uh, I do like that we have a lot of diversity on campus, especially if you go to that fucking library uh, between uh, 12 midnight and 11.59 the next day. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we do have a lot of diversity here, especially 4th Street. There's all those restaurants. But I gotta say something about Indian food. I really don't like Indian food lives. In fact, I hate it for two reasons. One, I smell like shit for a week. <laughs> Two, I can't stop shitting for a week. <laughs> but anyway, I went there once with my girlfriend, and uh, I see on the wall there's a picture of the Taj Mahal, and I say, hey, you know what's funny is when the Taj Mahal was being built, um, the people were starving, and the king was spending all their money building this tomb for some bitch that, uh, that nobody likes. And, uh, and, and they actually kicked him out of power and put him in jail. My girlfriend says, she's like, yeah, but like now, I mean, look how much money it's bringing in. <laughs> and I say, yeah, and I'm sure that's definitely what the king was trying to explain to his people. And I was like, okay, guys, I know you're really pissed off at this, but this is a serious investment. Like, don't you understand? There are going to be people here, they're called tourists. They're going to come by plane. Now, I'll get to that later. But they're going to all this money, and they're going to come from places like England and China and America. Funny story about America. 
They thought that they were coming here and they went there and they caught them Indians, but uh, anyway. anyway. <laughs>